Yo, what's up? You know, ever since EVs started getting more and more popular, uh, some people claim that EVs catches fire easier than fossil cars. But at least Tesla proven that, I don't remember how much it was, but um, Tesla pro proven that there was about five, six times lower probability to catch fire on an on a EV versus a fossil car. And then today, I want to tell you guys a story about a Tesla 75D that burned, but the battery pack did not catch fire. So uh, um, this happened in August last year. And uh, uh, during the night, four in the morning or at night rather, um, the alarm went off the car. Uh, but the owner put the phone in silent mode, so he didn't hear this until in the morning. And then when he saw it in the morning, he tried to contact the car, and uh, the car didn't respond. And then this is what uh, he saw when he approached the, the car. There's some foam, that is you know, the foam they use for, uh, for uh, uh, putting out fire. And then uh, where the car was supposed to be, it was just gone. And there was also a Mercedes parked in front of it that was also removed and also burned. So he called the fire department and they could confirm that there was a fire during the night, morning, and uh, they have removed the vehicles, I guess for safety or whatever. So here you see, um, this is from the insurance company. They took some pictures of the 75D. So it is uh, quite burned, yes. And I also asked him, uh, how, how do you let, and how do you, how do you put a, a car on fire? There's really nothing you can, you know, uh, maybe you have to use gasoline, pour gasoline over it. Wait a minute, if you can pour gasoline over it, then it's a bad idea to carry on with gasoline, right? <laughs> no, but um, uh, he said that maybe someone uh, broke the window and then throw something in there uh, to, to ignite the, the seat uh, because the interior will burn quite well. That's actually, it sounds more plausible, so. Uh, I'm not sure, but you see that the inside here has burned quite a lot. Uh, there is a cable there, I guess. But, oh, look at that. Look at that. We still have a, a rim that can be used. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, maybe I shouldn't laugh at this. But uh, I wonder if this is the other car. Maybe this is the Mercedes that burned. Uh, I'm not sure if, the, if the, the fuel caught fire on that one. But remarkably, uh, the battery pack is intact. So you could probably just call um, Rich Rebuilds and he would just buy that battery pack and then put it in some other Tesla. Uh, here we see from a different angle. Uh, wow, okay, this is uh, from the tire. Yeah, this is the, the reinforcement in the tire. So, but you see there are still parts that can be used here, yeah. You know, you could just pop it out with a kitchen knife. Uh, what about that one? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Um, and here's the front. So you see the, uh, well, Model S is made of a lot of aluminum and aluminum will just melt when the temperature is high enough. So, uh, but look here, that looks like um, a Chatham adapter. Ah, oh, man, what a bummer, a Chatham adapter burned down. Well, at least he carried it around. Maybe he watched my videos. So um, you see, it uh, seems like, uh, yeah, some of the interior burned down quite well. And I think that that was it, that the interior burned that ignited uh, at least the top part of the car, but it didn't spread to the battery pack. So the battery pack was nice and intact. Yeah, let me see, this is the last picture. Oh, no, actually second to last. Um, so here more, more, you see more of the interior. MCU is probably dead. Yeah, that one is kaput. And also, yeah, lots of the interior just burn. Uh, this is the back seat, so I, I'm not I'm not the investigator, but it could seem like the the, the fire started from the back seat, and here's a Type Two cable. Yeah, so interesting. Um, but uh, so there was the insurance case, and also the owner he had uh, it's called uh, DNB Super uh, Insurance something. So which covers the cars uh, an, an equivalent car brand banking new um, and then uh, un unfortunately or fortunately tesla didn't sell 75d anymore so he actually managed to get a uh, 100d instead that's a nice upgrade and also it only took him um about a week or so uh, for the whole case here and then he could order a new car so that was quite fast but what i want to show you guys is that uh, you know even if an ev catches fire then uh, the battery pack is in the lower end, and in this case, it didn't catch fire, you know. Uh, if it was gasoline, then I would probably assume, assume, okay, that it would catch fire. So, uh, and also, you guys remember last, what was it, last year? What was it again? Um, the big fire at Sula Airport outside of Stavanger. 
uh, in the beginning when the fire started, uh, some people uh, thought that it was it it started from an EV, but then it turns out that it was an Opel, wasn't it? Opel Safira diesel that caught fire, and a, a lots of cars burn, uh, also lots of EVs burn, but. Uh, I think also over there, I haven't confirmed, I heard rumors that lots of the EVs that burn in that garage did not, or the battery pack did not catch fire. So of course, EV like the one I'm sitting in now has fabric, leather, whatever that will catch fire. But the battery pack has a lower probability of catching fire than a tank full of gasoline. Yeah, or even diesel, I guess. So uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.